Another threat looms at rail yards like these, where train cars wait for engines that will never arrive. In the time of humans, 31 million cars carried 2 million tons of cargo. And 40,000 of these cars carry a common chemical that can be lethal if accidentally unleashed. Now, without people, it's waiting silently for the time to strike. Five decades into a life after people. Train cars loaded with cargo are deteriorating. Some of them carry chlorine. It was used for disinfecting drinking water and swimming pools and manufacturing plastics. But chlorine can be deadly. And these aging rail cars aren't heavily armored. The outer steel shell is only one-tenth of an inch thick. The insulation is four inches of plastic. Half of them are already over 20 years old with a life expectancy of about 50 years. That assumes, of course, that they're constantly inspected, they're constantly maintained and cleaned. Weakened by corrosion, the undercarriage gives way. Most of that car empties in a matter of less than an hour. And that means that the cloud of chlorine would be very, very dense and therefore extremely deadly. Heavier than air, chlorine gas advances over ground like a killer fog. Immediately, instantaneously, can't keep your eyes open and you can't breathe any longer. And of course, wildlife would have no clue. And if chlorine gas touches water, on a tree, in a lake, or even on an animal, it immediately turns into acid. And it would continue to acidify that water and not only kill the fish and turtles and other vegetation in the water, but probably result in a long-term uh, death of that system and the aquatic life in it. In 2005, a rail accident in Graniteville, South Carolina, released 90 tons of chlorine gas into the environment, about half the carrying car's capacity. Nine people died, and another 250 had to be treated for chlorine exposure. Hazmat crews needed two weeks to decontaminate a one-mile radius around the site. The gas was only, again, partially released, and it wasn't in a populated area. Even those that survived were horrified. Without people to maintain the rail cars, these deadly fogs will continue to be unleashed around the world.